Yo, what up, YouTube? In this video, we'll be going over offensive bubbles, and what that is is an aggressive playstyle as Gibby to help you keep up with those fast paced legends, such as Wraith, Octane, Pathfinder. And if you're one of those people that play those characters and is trying to make the transition to Gibby, that can be a hard transition from going from an offensive fast paced character to a defensive slow character that's kind of stationary. And with this playstyle and these clips, you will learn that it's actually a really easy transition and you can play just like those fast paced legends with more health and more cover at the same time. So hopefully you enjoy the video and you're able to learn something from it. One of the best uses for offensive bubbles is right after you get a knock, you're able to push forward and throw the bubble either on the person that's knocked or the person shooting. So if I didn't throw the bubble, I'd be shooting from either high ground or going up the middle. In this case, it's the best situation like to throw the bubble way, on top of him. Mm. Uh, he has a Devo. Have that 1v1. Use the melee trick since he has the Devo. It's easier to fight in that 1v1 Still and easily get that win. In this situation right here, I know that I can no longer be behind this pillar and I need to move forward. And the only way to do that is simply just bubble for it. So I actually have a new play field and more technically walls. Instead of that one pillar, now I have a whole bubble to go through. And I'm able to take a 1v3 situation and come out on top because of that. Right here is a perfect example of playing just like a Wraith or a Pathfinder. Instead of grappling up and over onto this high ground or having to phase and climb up, I'm able to throw the bubble up and over. And as I'm climbing, the bubble's falling. And as soon as I get there, I know the bubble's going to be there. I know the dude's to my left, so as soon as I climb up and get my positioning, Bubble's already down. I didn't take any damage, and he has to reload because of this. And I'm able to get the height advantage, I'm able to get the knock because of it. And you can use this tactic for any other building to throw it up and over, or even on zip lines or after zip lines. Pushing Rampart teams can be a little difficult for any legend. Right here, I'm able to bubble forward. It protects us from their turret that they had, all their shields that are placed. So we're able to push forward without taking any damage. We're able to take a 2v3. And teams like this don't expect you to be aggressive and to push through like that because they have all their shields that they're protected from. Being aggressive and pushing forward the bubble is not only just for you, but for your teammates also. Right here, he was in a 1v3 situation. He had really low health, and I was able to throw the bubble up and over right on top of the enemy to where he's outside the ring. And now he's able to reload. Why I'm, I can take this fight, I'm able to hit the Wraith once to help him out with that, and I can take this 1v1 against a lifeline. And me throwing the bubble forward just helped us so much out in this fight because he could have got knocked and I would have had to push two people by myself without any bubble or anything like that. I'm taking the Eve and I'm running. Jones 
She's lagging bad. Oh, I'm burning. Oh, I cracked one. That finds one. Yo, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Hopefully this helps out the people that are trying to make that transition to Gibby from a smaller, offensive, fast-paced character. And if you're already a Gibby main, hopefully this shows you like a different style that you can play as. This is my particular game style. Is that fast-paced, offensive, aggressive play style. And if you guys have any other questions or any other tips that you want me to give, I, I'll go over anything. Uh, if it has to do with settings or sensitivity, I can make a video on that. But I have very basic settings. It's whatever the game comes with, with me only changing my ALC for my controller and no vibrations. That's literally the only settings I've changed on my stuff. So if you have any questions about that, I can go in deep detail about everything. But any other questions, just let me know in the comments. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you.